Hey Canucks fans, in an effort to shake things up, we saw some new lines and deep pairings at practice today. Let's talk about them. I'm Clay Emo, I'm at Canuck Clay on Twitter, and my Clay Emo on Instagram. I'm the founder of the GLCPC, the Good Looking Canucks Positivity Club. This is my Canucks take on one take. It's Clay's Canucks commentary for Wednesday, February the 24th. This is where you get Canucks insight that's positive and timely. It's my second video of the day, but I still want to give a shout out to my Hall of Fame members, Jens95, Sim Alexander, Just Incredible, and Nuts fan number 29. Thanks for your support, and thanks to the support of all members of all levels. They're listed in the description. If you want to join the CCC crew as a member, press the join button underneath this video, or check out the memberships tab on my YouTube channel. We knew that something has to give when it comes to the players on the ice. If there's not going to be any changes, which I talked about this morning, in management, either uh, Jim Benning or Travis Green, then the only other thing you can do is you can change the personnel on the ice. Now, some people are clamoring for seeing guys like Mark Michaelis, Jace Harlock, just different types of bodies in the lineup. And we started to see not only a little bit of that at practice today, but also um, some new combos of guys that have been in the lineup since the start of the season. Now, I am recording this on my lunch break as the Canucks are gonna go, uh, a few players in Travis Green are gonna talk to the media. So there's a possibility that Travis Green says, oh, I just wanted to try some new things out, some new combos out. And he might go back to the same old, same old. But um, I don't, I, I have a feeling, and again, I could be proven wrong in, in the next half an hour. I have a feeling that I do know that Travis Green likes to practice how he plays or likes to play how he practices. So I think, um, you know, I think we can read I'd like to read, no, I don't know if I'd like to read it. I think we can read something into some of these combos, but we'll, I guess we won't know until the Canucks take the ice to take on Edmonton again tomorrow night. So let's talk about it. We'll start up front where I'll, I'll read through the lines and then I'll talk about each one quickly. Um, so you have a top line now, Pedersen, Besser, and Niels Hoglander. Then the second line of Horvat, Pearson, and Vertanen. That means JT Miller's on the third line with Adam Gaudette flanking Brandon Sutter. And then the fourth line had Beagle, McEwen, and then Roussel and Harlock uh, rotating in and out. So again, Horvat, Pedersen, Besser, Pearson, Horvat, Vertanen, sorry, Hoglander, Pedersen, and Besser is their top line. Then Pearson, Horvat, Vertanen, third line of Miller, Sutter, Gaudet, and then a fourth line of Roussel slash Harlock, Beagle, and McEwen. So let's break this down line by line. On the top line, you, Actually, for all these lines, you can see they've kept pairs of guys and they've swapped one winger per line. So on the top line, Pedersen and Besser stay together. And then you have Niels Hoglander moving up from technically the right wing of the second line to the, to the left wing of the top line. This is intriguing to me because we know how hard Hoglander works. And basically, you're, you're saying to JT Miller, look at... One thing you could be saying to Miller is look how hard... Hoglander works. Look at his body language. He's not sulking or letting his shoulders drop as he makes a very slow line change. He's not doing passes across the power play, uh, cross ice passes, always getting intercepted. Okay, so maybe that was a little bit harsh, but we, we've we talked many times about some of the struggles that JT Miller is, ha is having, whereas Hoglander's motor doesn't move. So I could see that being an effective combination with Besser and Pedersen, two very skilled guys who love to shoot. And if Hoglander is retrieving pucks, and, and doing a lot of the dirty work. Um, that intrigues me a lot. So Pedersen, Besser, and Hoglander, why not? Hoglander's had a pretty good season so far. Not spectacular, but a pretty good season. Reward him for a look on the top line. Second line, it gets surprising. you think you'd just swap Hoglander and Miller, and then one of Miller or Pearson would have to play on the right wing, though. I don't know if that's easier or hard. But instead, it's Horvat and Pearson together, and Jake for Tannen. Now, we've seen this... We've seen this before, Vertanen getting a shot in the top six, either on the top line or the second line. It never seems to pan out for him. We we know that Vertanen and Horvat aren't always the best combo. So we'll see how this goes. Obviously, there's a familiarity there with Horvat and Pearson. So Vertanen gets bumped up to the second line on the right wing. And then you have JT Miller at least practicing on the third line. Now, this is a, certainly a demotion from playing with Pedersen and Besser to playing with Sutter and Gaudet. Remember, Sutter doesn't have an assist yet. They almost had one last night on Myers goal, but they took it away, and Gaudet's been kind of snake bit. So I'm not sure if they're asking Miller to be the setup man on this, on this line, if they're asking Miller to be the finisher on this line, but you see Miller coming down as a left winger all the way down to that third line. And then 
that bumps Roussel down from three to four. But then he was he was rotating with Jace Harlock, and then you have Beagle and McEwen. And I would like to see Harlock get a shot. I've been advocating for this for the past week as he got healthy. Unfortunately, he got injured in training camp with that that that, uh, that collision with Tyler Mott. I want to see Har to see what Jace Harlock can do. I think all Canucks fans want to see what he can do. Even if he brings a, a bit of energy and a bit of a, you know never say die attitude, it'd be good. And Roussel has been very ineffective aside from uh, getting fined by punching Jesse Poryarvi in the face un, uh, repeatedly. So um, why not try Harlock there on the fourth line? So those are kind of some quick reflections. Hoglander gets rewarded, Miller gets demoted, and Vertanen somehow shoots up from the fourth line to the second line as Horvat and Pearson stay together. So we'll see if any of those come to fruition tomorrow night. On D, this is interesting. You got Edler and Schmidt together. You have Hughes and Hamannick. And you have Ben and Myers with Ulevi and Chatfield being the fourth pair. So I did anticipate this. I did say when Travis Hamnick came in that likely Ole Ulevi, as, as well as he's played, or at least as, as steady as he's played, you'd likely be, see Ulevi be the one coming out. But I actually, I, I guess that Schmidt would then come to the left side and you could go Edler, Myers, Hughes, Hamnick, Schmidt, Ben. But instead, and then you have uh, you have Hughes, Schmidt, and Edler on your left, and you would have Hamnick, uh, Myers, and Ben on the right. But instead, they actually brought Ben over to the left side when Hamnick came in. So you kept they kept Edler and Schmidt together, Hughes with Hamnick, and then Ben on the left with Myers on the right, which is clearly a third pairing. So I guess that's a that's a blessing in one way that both Nate Schmidt and Jordy Ben can play both left side or right side. So again, I thought it was going to be. Um, Schmidt coming over the left side, but instead it was Jordy Ben. So we look at these pairings, Edler and Schmidt, that's the one pairing that has been kind of consistent. Schmidt has been playing well in that pairing. Edler, he's been okay, you know, um, got exposed for his lack of speed last night once again. Hughes and Hamnick, this is how they started the season before Hamnick got hurt. It wasn't the best pairing, but the, Hughes has settled down a little bit, and I think Hamnick has, um, will have a lot to prove. So I could see that. And then you had Ben and Myers as your third pairing. Um, you know, what's interesting is you could have kept Hughes with Ben and then tried, uh, you know, you could have gone Schmidt Hamannick with Schmidt on the left and then Edler Myers. But if they, if they want to try really Hughes and Hamannick together, now you have a, a bona fide top four of Hughes, Hamannick, Edler, Schmidt, and then you played Ben and Myers as your third pairing. Although Myers is the second highest scoring defenseman on the team, so uh, behind Hughes, of course. So that was a bit of a surprise to me, admittedly, that they switched Ben over as opposed to Schmidt, but I think the reasoning is you, you get a, a solid top four of Hughes, Hamnick, Edler, Schmidt, and then Myers plays in your in your third pairing. So there we go, Canucks fans. Some thoughts, obviously, not much you can do with the goaltender. You either play Demko or you play Hopi. Neither of them has really risen as the, the bonafide starter yet, so we'll continue to track that as we go. But I'm more interested in your thoughts on these, these combos up front and on the blue line, the skaters. So so what do you think of Hoglander getting a shot on the first line? What do you think of Miller being demoted to the third line? What do you think of uh, potential for Jace Harlett to come in? And what do you think of these pairings as well? I'll, I'll type all these out in the description so you can see them very clearly. But I'd love to know your thoughts on what I've talked about. The promotion of Hoglander, the demotion of Miller, and then having Hammond come in to play with Hughes right away, and therefore Ben switch, switching over to the left and not Nate Schmidt with Oyo Levy taking a seat. At least that's how they practice. We'll see if that's how they play tomorrow night. So leave a comment below on all these changes. Tell me what you think. I will do my best to read, react, and reply as always. Subscribe if you like to, like this video if you like to, and join this channel as a member if you like to. Recording my Zoom chat, Zoom interview with Andrew Walker tonight. Looking forward to that. Look forward to that tomorrow morning on my channel, and we will go from there. Stay safe, stay healthy, take care of yourselves, and take care of each other. Have a great day. God bless, and go Canucks go.